Hi, this is Dr. Nemechek. I want to do a little screencast here showing you how we can use autonomic testing to detect and then monitor the changes that occur uh, from brain injuries that occur from both traumatic and non-traumatic causes. This is the core feature uh, of the Autonomic Advantage Brain Recovery Program because we are able to look at an individual and make sure that that individual's brain is recovering with the program. It's not an assumption. It's not a one-size-fit-all. If things are not recovering, we keep changing the program until we get the recover the uh, recovery response we're looking for. So the basis of this is looking at the autonomic nervous system this is the part of the brain that totally regulates really how all the organs in the body work, your entire immune system, your whole hormonal system. It's kind of like an onboard computer in the car that coordinates all these pieces. And in another sense, it is the computer that kept the Stone Age person alive because it tells you when to eat and drink and sleep and even run from a tiger. And so it's, it's a rather critical feature. And it is really responsible for most of the symptoms that people get when they have classic, you know, physical concussion. All right. And there are two branches here, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. Um, this is the sympathetic is the fight or flight. The parasympathetic is the classic rest and digest branch. They're very, very mechanical. Uh, I don't know if you see it here, but this shows the Sympathetic will dilate your pupils and the parasympathetic will constrict your pupils. And uh, they do a number of other kind of things that we'll talk about in other parts of the uh, website. But mainly, how do we monitor this? Well, these two signals are talking to all the organs throughout the body. That's what this graphic is supposed to be telling you, as well as the heart. So what we do is put simple three lead EKG uh, and we get your little heart signal that you'll see uh, like in a TV show or something like that and in that signal are blended all of uh, you know, it's mostly from the heart but blended in there is the sympathetic and parasympathetic signals so now we have a single signal coming out it's kind of like a signal from uh, the cable company it goes in your cable box you get a hundred channels here we put it into my uh, specialized equipment that's designed for this and we can tease out the signals and in an individual we can measure their specific sympathetic or parasympathetic signaling okay um, and you can see here the sympathetic is always red uh, we get a signal that comes out normal range we want the things to end in the gray zone so you can see this is a little high come down here's a parasympathetic is blue and there's four parts to the test one part's seated one part's deep breathing there's a thing called the vesalva which is basically you take a breath and you bear down you can see this is really highly abnormal here and then the stand test this is low classic low signal called sympathetic withdrawal which is responsible for poor blood pressure to the head that can give you headaches neck tightness fidgetiness poor focus concentration uh, this actually believe it or not is what makes you addicted to, to nicotine but uh, the point here is that we're measuring these signals and you can see we've got a lot of disparity here and this came from an individual who had a <clears throat> concussion playing college football about 30 years ago and what we're seeing is damage from that brain injury. Now a normal looking test should be here like this individual. You can see the bars are in the normal zone here on the breathing test it's in the gray that's normal 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 and normal normal and the the truth being told this is the same individual this is also how we monitor what's going on so we're looking just at the bottom two here you can see these are way out of whack they're way too strong this one's very low this one's a little high using the autonomic advantage program and changing the metabolism in the body we're able to get the brain to repair itself and when we do we watch these bars slowly move towards the gray zone until we get somebody at this point and as they are migrating in that direction the patients are healthier and healthier and feel better and better and their symptoms go away and it is that simple and we do not stop until we get your brain recovered that's all for now this is dr nimichek thank you